Hi friends, this is Andy from TechStore and in this video I'm going to be showing you the process to upgrade the RAM and the hard drive of uh, the Acer Aspire ES1 or E15 which is uh, a 511 or a 512 or a 520, 521, 531 ES1 or E15 followed by all these can be, uh, this particular video can be used to upgrade them so if you have a laptop which looks like this on the front as you can see it has got this sequence kind of a pattern and has a base which looks like this you can apply I'll also open it and show it to you if it looks like this you can apply and it has mentioned uh, E15 or ES1 you can apply this process alright so first thing we do is uh, flip the laptop and uh, you see all these screws over here uh, which we need to remove each and every screw that you can see has to be removed now remove the DVD writer for people who want to replace the DVD writer just need to remove it like this because the screw has been loosened over here it's basically a 9.7 mm uh, SATA DVD writer so just take another DVD writer remove these uh, this particular one screw over here and fit it back and put the DVD writer back you can also use a hard disk caddy to add another uh, additional SSD onto this now you have to take a protruder like this, uh, this is a triangular protruder available in the market and you need to protrude the touchpad actually, the touchpad will give away so over here you just need to start protruding just make a little dent and it will all give away Right. After doing this, you have to remember that uh, the touchpad has to give away, but uh, the touchpad is being held by two strip connectors. So as you can see over here, there are these two strip connectors. We will zoom into this area now and uh, show you how to exactly remove those connectors. Now please note there are these two connectors over here. So one will give away once you just put, pull this thing towards yourself and you can remove the strip connector. The one is a little tricky as it has got two connectors one over here another one over here on the left and the right side so you just need to use one of your fingers or if you have a plastic uh, something with you you can just do it like this just push this notch and then uh, you just need to push the other notch yeah and then very gently you just need to remove it the entire panel gives away the top panel gives away like this let's keep it on one side once this is opened you have the hard drive visible you don't have the RAM visible as you can see the RAM is uh, kept below the motherboard here so we have to go below the motherboard so before that we will do the hard drive upgrade you can see there's this uh, strip connector over here we need to remove that And uh, there is this one screw over here, we need to remove this and just push the hard disk on the right side. And the hard disk will give away. It's basically a 2.5 uh, SATA slim HDD hard drive, SATA hard drive basically. Just take another hard drive or SSD and fit it back inside just need to remove this uh, one screw over here and uh, just take another hard drive or SSD and put it back this particular L angle and uh, you can upgrade the hard drive now coming to the motherboard part 
you need to remove uh, this is uh, where the battery is connected so we'll have to disconnect the battery first this is where the motherboard is you need to remove the screws that are visible and uh, before that you need to remove the Wi-Fi chip also this is a Wi-Fi chip here so we just need to remove this one screw keep it on the one side remove the white is on this side the antenna connectors remove the coming onto the other board this is one screw that you have to remove here Now there is this VGA cable that you need to remove and there is this uh, connector to the charging pin point that we have to remove so that it does not hold on to the motherboard being removed. Then advisable you remove this strip also. You need not uh, actually remove this particular part here it's not advisable you need to remove this speaker connector once removed uh, I can see the RAM being over here so there is only one slot in the ES1512 as you can see uh, I'll just remove the power point yeah so this is the way it is there is only one memory slot over here so you cannot upgrade the memory beyond uh, say somewhere around uh, 8 GB 8 GB is the max at this point of time and uh, you need to remove the memory over here so you remove it you have it in hand this is basically a DDR3L low voltage memory that you need to have for upgrading uh, the ES1 the max upgrade capacity is 8 GB this point of time. So we are using a Xeon memory as you can see it is a DDR3L sodium low voltage memory that we are using. So up to 8 GB is what the capacity is but right now we are upgrading it to a 4 GB memory out of the 2 GB that was there. So we just need to insert it and fill it back. little not very nice to design so you need to put in the power connector back here the speaker connector and the VGA cable back place where it goes So now the tricky part we need to place it like this now we need to put the connectors back the two connectors over here just take one of the connectors and uh, just put it like this this and then just close it similarly with uh, this particular cable also just need to put it completely inside with both your hands and then just push this notch and then push this notch once you're done you can just again press it
This my friends was a video showing you how to basically upgrade the RAM hard drive and in the process I've shown you how to replace the keyboard uh, and the touchpad of Acer E15 or ES1 is a 512, 511, 520, 531, all the models that are there. The process is absolutely same. Hope you liked our video. You can buy this memory and the hard drive on our website, textor.co.in. Thank you so much for watching, guys.